is confirmed. And by the way, all three of those positions that he held inside the Justice Department, he had to be confirmed by the Senate. He was unanimously concern, uh, confirmed to be the Attorney General. And in all three positions, it was a Democratic controlled Senate that confirmed him. So if they fight this too hard, they're really going to have to explain exactly what that's, has changed outside of gaining more experience right. uh, from what you're talking about. Uh, you know, it is being reported. Some reports are saying that the president has been asking nominees whether or not they would recuse themselves from the Russia investigation. That is not my reporting, but I'm repeating that of others. Would that be a question that you would ask? Uh, uh, of course. I mean, that's the kind of question you would want to ask of anyone who's going into the top position at the Justice Department. And the president has a right uh, to know that. I haven't seen anything in uh, either his background or anything that he said that would be a reason for him to recuse himself from uh, basically taking over supervision of the special counsel, which under Department of Justice regulations, it's supposed to be the attorney general. All right. Uh, as far as what we know about the Mueller investigation, I don't know if right. you could hear Congressman Andy Biggs of Arizona talking about this, but what he liked about William Barr is that it may add a rudder, if you will, uh, to the ship of the investigation into the president by or his campaign by Mueller. What, what's your thought on that? No, I actually agree with that. Um, I, I don't think the special counsel has been supervised in his work the way he should be, in a way that, that the attorney general's office has an obligation to do. Look, maybe Mueller's got some kind of evidence that has not yet been publicly disclosed. That's certainly possible. But through today, not a single one of the indictments that he has put out, including the ones of Cohen, uh, Flynn, and Manafort, had anything to do with or provided any evidence about any supposed collusion or with the Russian government. Or, yeah. right. Let, let's talk about what we could see drop today. I, I mean, I, I don't know what kind of uh, neon light or what you could use to read through the redactions. I think you can't. So there was so much that was redacted with Michael Flynn's sentencing right. memo from earlier this week. If we get two more like that on Manafort and Cohen, what is the point of releasing that information? It's got to have like What's the strategy? Get, get into the mind of Mueller if you can, and, and you should be able to do that because you've done your own investigations. Well, the reason that uh, the special counsel gave, for example, for redacting uh, information from the Flynn memo is because he said it pertains to an ongoing investigation. Again, that may very possibly be true. But look, in the Manafort case uh, today, we're supposed to get a sentencing recommendation memo from uh, Mueller. And remember, about a week or so ago, Mueller filed a special pleading with the court accusing Manafort of having lied to the special counsel's office since he agreed to a plea deal. And uh, the special counsel said, I will detail what those lies uh, are in the report that's going to be filed today. So I, I think we're actually going to get information on what the supposed lies are that, that mm. Mueller is accusing Manafort of. All right. Uh, Hans, great to see you. Thank you very much for your time today. Thanks for having me. I, I want to bring everybody's attention now back to the lectern there in Kansas City. That is the Western Crown Center uh, Hotel, and that's where we anticipate the president will step up at any moment. We're going to take a quick break now and come right back. Stay close. Please welcome our nation's highest.